So what is a rotator? That's the question we're going to be answering over the course of the next couple of minutes in this video. My name is Dave Briley jones and let's start by talking about what a rotator is. A rotator is an item that has many items within it. So in this video, I'm going to create a rotator for my weather sponsor. Instead of me scheduling my three weather sponsors separately, I'm going to create a rotate cart and we call that the parent cart. So the parent rotate holds the child cart, which in this video is going to be my three weather sponsors. And the beauty of this is I'm just going to schedule the rotate parent cart. Then when player one comes to play it out, it's going to work out what it needs to play based on the children it has within it. So let's see how we set them up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the parent rotate cart and that's going to hold my three weather sponsors. So let's go make a brand new cart. We're going to call this weather rotator. I've given it a UID of 23. Type is going to be commercials. And what we're going to next do is go to the rotate tab and enable rotate mode. That's going to take away some tabs that we normally see. And next we're going to add our children cart. So we go to the add UID to rotate button. We're going to search for weather and we're going to highlight our three weather sponsors and select them. So they pop in to the list here. Now we can see exactly what's in our parent rotate. We can see the three weather sponsors here. I'm going to tick this button here as well. This is called shuffle. So we're going to shuffle this rotator every time we have three plays from this rotator. So we've got three carts. So the items are going to play one, two, three, and then the order is going to be shuffled. So then the next time when they play, it might be two, three, one, one, three, two, whatever. Totally random. Now, if you want to go check how many rotators you've got in the system, uh, it's very simple. Just literally click on the R icon on the top of the media finder, and that's going to show you all of the rotators in your library. Now, if you want to go and see if a particular child cart is part of a parent rotator, you can do that as well. So all we need to do is we need to go find the cart we want to inspect. So for this, I'm just going to type in uh, weather and we're going to find weather sponsor one. When we open this up, you'll see if you go to the rotate parents tab, you'll see any rotate parents this cart is a member of. So uh, from this tab, you can also add a child cart to a parent. Now, this particular weather sponsor, it should only be available to play in the morning because it's the morning sponsor. So how do we tell the rotator only pick this child cart if it's between six and midday? Well, we're going to go to the day part and run dates tab. I'm just going to rename this so we know what it is mornings and then we're going to hit enable on the day park grid and we're literally going to draw onto the grid where and when this cart is available to be selected so between 6 and 12 and we hit save let's go do our other two here as well so weather sponsor 2 that is going to be uh, for our afternoon oh, uh, our afternoons so again we go to the day part and run dates tab we hit enable and we're going to draw onto the grid here when this particular cart can be picked. So between midday and 6 p.m. And for the final one, weather sponsor three, that's for evenings. So we will do the same again. You can also put run dates on here as well. So if you've got particular items that need to run between certain dates, as you can see here, 22nd of May to the end of the 22nd of May, I've done. Uh, you could do that for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for Easter. Uh, literally, you can set any dates in here and any day parts. So now let's go see what happens when we drag this into the log. I'm going to drag the parent weather rotator, which has our children in it. I'm going to drag it into the 2 p.m. hour. And when we resolve this rotator, we should see our afternoon weather sponsor to cart. Now, depending on your settings, you may have rotators to automatically resolve. That's when they transform from the parent to the child. If you don't have that setting turned on, then you may just need to right click on your log, click on the rotates section and then hit resolve all rotates for this hour. And there we can see it Weather sponsor two afternoons is there. If we go to 7 p.m. and we do the same thing, we should see that the evening sponsor cart should be there. And if we go to rotates resolve, there it is. So think of resolving as scheduling a rotate and think of unresolving as unscheduling a rotate. Why you would want to unresolve a rotate? Well, let's say you've just made a change to your rotator. We've just added some new sponsors in and we want those to be on the air immediately. But 
the rotators for the next couple of hours or next couple of days have already been resolved. Well, what we can do is we can unresolve rotates and then resolve them again. And what that's going to do is pick up the changes that you've made. So to unresolve for an hour, simply right click on the log, choose unresolve rotates for this hour. And there you see it. The child's disappear and the parent returns. And if you want to do it for a longer period of time, well, just nip into the unresolve slash resolve specific rotates, add your rotator into the list, choose your time that you want to do the unresolve or the resolve for, and you can batch do that very quickly. So that's how we use rotates on Playout One. If you would like to know more or have any specific questions, don't hesitate to email us. Our support team can be reached via support at air.com.